terms of a Lunda resort at uh, Lunda Bay, Crete, Greece. This place. So uh, welcome to uh, Mirabello Bay on the uh, the Greek island of uh, Crete. Mirabello Bay on the Greek island of Crete. We're in the uh, Eastern Mediterranean here on uh, Greek's largest island. And uh, it's the village of uh, Elunda. Just straight ahead, uh, you can see in the distance on the hillsides. 80% of uh, Greece is mountainous. And uh, we're at the domes of Elunda Resort uh, on a hillside uh, the northeast of uh, Crete. It's beautiful, uh, beautiful sights. Yeah, I'm standing at the uh, the top of the resort here. You see all the hills uh, all the way around. Right on the top of the resort, uh, we've got a helipad. Uh, it's a helipad uh, just over there. You see the H with the ring around it. That's yeah, the helipad here. And uh, the resort is actually in two parts. Uh, there's a part over here. Uh, it's looking towards the uh, Elunda village, population 3,000 like that. There's two parts to the uh, the resort. Um, we've got some uh, residences, some residences uh, just over there. Uh, the pool, it's one of the pools here, just over there. It's an Italian restaurant, uh, boutique shop and so on just over there. Resorts in two parts, uh, the domes of Alunda. Uh, and I'm on this side of the resort. So I'll start at the helipad and walk around my side, but uh, you'll see the, uh, the resort. It's all part of the same property. Just over there, I've got basketball court and uh, tennis as well here. That's uh, Alunda Bay. You'll see this from my, I've got a pool suite here. So you'll see some pretty good views uh, from my suite. So uh, we'll go for a walk down the hillside. And uh, yeah, so the resort's in two parts. There's one bit just over there. It's a very good buggy service that takes you around. You can hear the buggy in the background. There's the pool, the residences. It's on uh, just down there. You see the buggy going down. There's some residences up there, alright. So we'll walk down to uh, Chez Moi. There's the helipad, yeah? So the resort's just through here. So welcome to uh, Greece, welcome to Crete, and uh, welcome to Alunda Bay. We're at the uh, domes of Alunda Resort. All right, it's a very nice part of the world. Uh, the Saudi royal family, the Saudi royal family, come here on holidays. Not necessarily this resort, but they come to the bay uh, every year on holidays. All right. The former Greek prime minister, I think Andreas Papandreos, he also used to come out here for his summer holidays every year. Andreas Papandreos, and uh, various of the heads of state, Francois, no, uh, Chirac, no, Francois Mitterrand of France, met Colonel Gaddafi in the region once in the bay. So anyway, some of the people that have come here, including Mr. K. So we're in Elunda Bay, it's on the Greek island of Crete, it's the largest of the Greek islands. That Mirabello Bay you saw is the largest of the, uh, it's the largest of the, see the, uh, the scenery opening out, it's the largest of the, uh, bays of any Greek island, Mediterranean island, Mirabella Bay, it's the largest bay of any Greek island. And uh, just walk down, uh, see somebody coming here, just walk down uh, past them. Hi. Yeah, so I'm in uh, 416, it's just here on the right. Uh, we're about uh, 50 kilometers, 50 kilometers from Heraklion, that's the capital of Crete. There's an airport there. I flew here with Aegean Airways. It's the Greek national flag carrier, uh, Star Alliance member, and Skytrax, uh, uh, best regional airline in airport, best regional airline in Europe. So let's walk down here to mine. I'm in 416. So yeah, 50 kilometers from Heraklion Airport. Which has Mercedes picks you up. It's a very nice drive. Alunda, the village. It's very nice. It's very uh, it's nice restaurants there. It looks like. Okay, so I'm just here on the right. You can see the bay. Opening out. You get some pretty good views uh, from my. Uh... My sweet. Why are you staying up? 
Alright, on it. Just for the distance, it's been a longer island. Alright, it's going there. Uh, 416, just after 415. Yeah, so we started just beyond that villa there. That's the hilltop one. Nice flowers around the place, there more villas. Nice flowers there. Eh? Ready, so I'm just in through here. Welcome to uh, Mr. K's Chamois at the domes of Alunda. Saudi royal family too. Will come and come to Saudi Arabia next year, boys. Because uh, they've eased the relax, they've relaxed the rules for tourists. Alright, so I'm returning the favour. Alright, so I'm just in here. This is mine. I'll show you what the key card looks like. Uh, that it's actually uh, it's a Marriott Bonvoy property, uh, Domes of Alunda. It's an autograph collection. It's a Marriott Bonvoy property. There's two Marriott Bonvoy properties in the bay. Blue Palace is next door. I'm going there later. All right, it's my garden here. It's my garden. I get a pool like this. I'll walk you onto the deck in a minute. Yeah, four one six. It's the case. That's the village of Alunda that we saw on the top. If we swim in the pool. All these uh, traditional kikes, it's called. It's parked out there. Yeah. In my garden. Okay, let's uh, show you the room. It's the suite here. So they're all, it's, a pool, it's all pool, all sweet uh, villas kind of place. The view from the deck is quite nice. It's a balcony. It's a Lunda Island there. And uh, just here you've got Spinalonga. Spinalonga was a Venetian fortress. So it's been a longer island. It's there. And you get a deck here. Chair. It's quite nice. Some great views. Right, it's going. It's what's that? It's uh right, is this the uh this is Sweden, so you see when you get here. So uh, let me show you on Google Maps where we are. Put into the BBC there. Show you on Google Maps where we are. So we're at this domes of Alunda place. It's their local magazine. There's some spiel in here. Uh, a lot of seafood, I think, in the area. Uh, some good restaurants driving up to Alunda. Yeah, that's the place, domes of Alunda. All right, so where are we on Google Maps? Okay, so that's where we are. Domes of Alunda is here. Blue Palace is next door. They're both Marriott Bonvoy properties. Uh, Domes of Alunda is autograph collection. Blue Palace is luxury collection. It's a Spinalonga Island. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site yet. Spinalonga. Uh, this is uh, Mirabello Bay. Uh, it's the largest bay of any Greek island. And Heraklion, on the capital, is here as you drive across. We're about as far from the Egypt Libya border as we are from Athens up here, yeah? 350 kilometers to Athens. Egypt Libya border is about the same distance, that's where we are. Paliathi. And yeah, so it's been along our island. So uh, I think the Arabs were the first people to uh, settle this, this, this part of the world. The Arabs. And then uh, it's been along our island. Uh, the Vene I think it was Greek. The Venetians took over for a bit. So they built a fortress there, the Venetians. It was actually connected to the mainland until 1526. 1526, the Venetians made it into an island and they built a fortress that's 1526 the Venetians and it was the last place in Greece it's been a long island it was the last place in Greece to fall to the Ottoman Empire in 1715 yeah 1715 fell to the Ottomans and then uh, they did what they did but it was a Venetian fortress so they held out yeah because of the fortress uh, I mean it was a leper colony for most of the early part of the 20th century nice to the tourists you think about that yeah there's loads of boats that go out yeah it's a place Yeah, so when you get in, you get your, uh, so it's one of these autograph collection places. 
Yeah, I've added lots of the cakes already. See a complimentary bottle of uh, flight Greek red there to go with your uh, olives. And then uh, I like this touch by management. May all who enter as guests leave as friends. Yeah, it's very nice. Domes of Alunda. So this is the resort map. So it's actually in two parts. Move this guy out of the way. So it's, so it's a Marriott Bonvoy property, 416. So the top part that you saw, the part from the top of the hill, so the pool, you saw some villas uh, and so on. The pool, the Italian restaurant. Helipad is at the top, that's where we started. So I'm in here, 416, right at the top here on this side. So we'll just walk around, it takes about five minutes to get to the lobby, pool, and then down to the beach. The beach is here. Yeah, so that's the resort map. That's what it looks like, basically. Um, yeah, so you get goodies here like this. You can check in nuts and so on. I just want to show you. Show you the, uh, the bedroom and the bathroom. The bedroom's just through here. Looks like this. You get your red boys resting there. Uh, separate uh, deck. I got in quite late. About 9 o'clock from Athens yesterday evening by the time I got here. So now afternoon tour from the Four Seasons. Estia Palace and... Uh, it's going quite late, 9 o'clock, so I checked in. Didn't do very much. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, I went for breakfast this morning. It's the same balcony, none of this room closed. Previous season, great, yeah, with uh, the other, you can hear people on the other balconies. Uh, Blue Palace, I've booked the highest room category there later today, so, uh, yeah, so I got in late here. Uh, somewhere to sleep on the bay. But it's a nice place. And then, uh, Red Boy. Pretty good views, yeah, for a hotel room. They're just winding down for the season. The resort closes, as do most resorts on Crete, uh, next week. Uh, a lot of them do, uh, you know, after the, the resorts close for winter, they go and do their own thing. Yeah, it's the bathroom in here. So you got a little uh, jacuzzi area here. It's like this. It's sort of an Arab influence, yeah. I think the Arabs that were here till about the 9th, I think they got in the 9th century. Uh, yeah, and then uh, toiletries and so on down here. Sports fans, greetings. Uh, sports fans, greetings. Welcome to the uh, Domes of Alunda. Marriott uh, Autograph Collection, Alunda, Crete, Greece. Sports fans, boys and girls, welcome. Yeah, so the resort closes for uh, next week, for winter. And a lot of the, uh, all their toiletries are olive. Yeah. So apparently they all do olive picking, that's like the main agricultural stuff that they do here. They all do olive picking in the winter and they work in the hotel in the summer. That's what they, somebody told me. Yeah. Alrighty, that's the room. We've seen everything in here. Show you the fridge. Show you the fridge yet. So yeah, well, fully stocked up fridge down here. All the goodies in. Off the plane. Stuck in to get some... Uh, Merit and Shandon Champagne. Lewis Hamilton won the Mexican Formula One yesterday. Lewis Hamilton won the Mexican Formula One. I was sitting here watching it last night. It's about the only thing I did do here. Watch the Formula One. All right. Yeah, deck. So that's my pool. Uh, it's been a longer. That's been a longer island. It's been a longer. I'm trying to make it into a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Ottomans, uh, 1715. next door. You can hear the guests next door. All the here is I'll uh, pause the video before we go down to the beach. I'll show you some of the stuff I've got up. I'll show you what the place looks like at night because the only light up's been along on certain nights like last night. Uh, I'll take you in the pool for a swim. I'll show you breakfast. It's very nice in the restaurant and then uh, head down to the beach. Walk down to the resort to the beach. All right. See you in a bit. See you last night. Back for a pool here. I'll take you for a swim.
walk along the edge. Yeah, so you can see the uh, Elunda village. I think there's seven villages, each with a population, I think total 3,000 people or something. Yeah, Saudi royal family come around here on holidays. Must be alright, yeah. Returning the favour next year, boys and girls. There's a platform there for boats. Don't fall in the water. We're standing next to a swimming pool. Uh, it's a traditional kike, a little boat there. I've got that booked at the Blue Palace uh, tomorrow afternoon. famous Spinalonga. I think they're trying to make it a UNESCO World Heritage Site. I don't say more. Alright, so we'll see you in the last night and in the pool. Alright, and breakfast. We went a bit. Lovely day in uh, Crete. I think they should stay open over the winter, you know, I'd come. See some of the boats going across to spin along there. Some boat traffic there. Under that guy's house. Alright, see you last night. Good morning to you all on my deck here. I'll uh, take in the pool for a swim, early morning swim. I must do, but the water is very cold. See the uh, town of Elunda in the distance there? The town of Elunda, Mirabello Bay. Elunda, Creek, Crete. It's uh, Spinalonga Island, famous uh, island. That's my room here. Uh, the camera is shaking because it's cold. I'm shivering. It's actually, uh, it's actually warmer in the pool. It's cold. Right, so I go out in the pool here. See the town of Alunda? Start out there. It's a garden. Four and six. It's up there. Alrighty, it's going. Let us go in the swimming pool. Let's open the pool's water signs. Yeah, welcome in, in the swimming plats. My hands still shaking. Anyway, it's been a longer. Island, domes of Alunda. Alrighty, that's the village of Alunda. It's down there. Saudi royal family coming on holidays. That's why I got you in the pool like this. Kind of self tortured this time in the morning. It's down actually, it's very nice. So it was cold. Let's get the camera out here. Nibs. Alrighty, that's the pool for you. Ready in the pool with Mr. K. Nice. Happy to that. Alright, cha. It's a uh, nice swim in the pool. The day is uh, warming up very quickly. So we've got uh, sunrise happening just over here. Sun is just uh, peeping over the hills there. Sunrise at Elunda Bay after my uh, morning swim. It's been a long island. Beautiful. And uh, good morning, my neighbors, the people of Elunda. Very good morning to you all. Uh, 
Uh, I'm coming down for breakfast at uh, the restaurant here. Uh, it's actually very nice. Uh, it's my breakfast here. The latte, uh, but the deal is the view. It's the view of the island. You can see the hotel pool and uh, the spin along our island. It's heading to a UNESCO World Heritage Site, that place. Yeah, it's the view here for breakfast at uh, sunrise. Pretty good uh, Greek, Mediterranean. Uh, all right, we're going to have breakfast. We've got some uh, sausage, egg, bacon, baked beans, a tomato on there, a bit of toast, a bit of coffee, latte, and uh, yeah, breakfast with Mr. K here at uh, the Domes of Balunda, Marriott Bonvoy Autograph Collection. Let's go for breakfast. Very leisurely day today, uh, but I'm just gonna enjoy my breakfast here, alright? See you later. Views are amazing. Views are very good. Sunrise. It's been a long day. Just come uh, bayside uh, down from the uh, the domes of Valunda. It's uh, the bay. Let's uh, spin along our island. So from uh, my uh, villa there, sweet, and uh, this is the bay. That's the uh, spin along our island. It's the bay here. It's like uh, quite a nice uh, rocky coastline. Lovely day. So uh, that was a bit of uh, action from earlier. Nice early morning swim in the pool there and uh, nice seeing Lewis Hamilton win. And uh, yeah, it's the island of uh, Spinalonga. It's about uh, it's a tourist attraction these days boat uh, pulling in. The light is uh, different, better. See the shimmering waters of uh, Mirabella Bay. Beautiful. So we'll uh, take a walk down. Uh, we'll take a walk down uh, to uh, take a walk down to uh, the beach. The beach. It's more like a coastline. There's a beach there as well, and it's right up to uh, Spinalonger Island. Here you can see Spinalonger right across the water. So walk down there. 15 minute walk through the uh, lobby, and uh, I'll get you there. Place. Okay, let's go. So one last look at the pool here, and then uh, okay, there's, a, there's a Greek uh, Orthodox church, I think, just there. Yeah, it's the village of uh, Alunda, population 3,000. I right, will see it better now. Light. Somebody water skiing in the uh, in the bay as well. The village just come past us. Beautiful. Spin longer. So more. If you look at the top of the hill there, there's some water, uh, wind, wind turbines. It's on top of the hill. Some wind turbines up there. Someone spinning around. 
next to the hill. Yeah, wind turbine. Early. So we get that in and uh, let's go for a walk down to the coastline at uh, Spinalonga. Need my uh, Villa 416. I'll head down. Alrighty, let's go. It's about a 12 minute, 15 minute walk. You have to cut through the lobby. It's neighbours 4 and 5, as you might expect. You have to cut through the lobby, which earlier was quite busy, so I might not video put it in there. And then there's a path. You go past the pool. The pool is beautiful. And then there you go. There's a path under the road. There's a road at the front of the hotel. It's a, it's a hillside, yeah, so the beach on the other side. You can't tunnel under the hill for the road. So there's a bridge under the road, and then uh, we get to the coastline. Yeah. The design is, there's a, there is certainly some Arabic influence here. Uh, we're in the east of Europe. Nice flowers. We're in the east of Europe, these domes and stuff. Yeah, let's walk down to the gardens. The resort is not too pricey, so I paid uh, 300 US dollars, 300 US dollars for that pool, pool place. I think that's the highest, or one of the highest uh, room categories. You saw the villas at the other side at the top when we went there. Uh, I think there's more expensive, obviously. Uh, it's not too pricey a place. Three, 300 US dollars. Let's start that with a, although well, we are coming towards the end of the season. All right. Yeah, so mine is just beyond that one there. Mine is just beyond that one there. Well looked after place. Yes, yeah, so they're closing for winter next week. You wouldn't think so, yeah, looking at the the sun like this, but that's what they do. Let's just walk past uh, the people on the balconies. Just walk down the uh, hillside. Yeah, definitely a bit of uh, Arabic influence here. Uh, you can take the steps down and uh, just walk down the bay stuff out there. To the village, Balunda, just further up on the what is it? It's like the Lake District in some ways. It's a bit like the Lake District. Alrighty, so we're pretty much at the lobby here. It's an autograph collection property. Autograph collection Marriott Bonvoy. You see all the lobby area, the restaurants. We'll just take a stop here. Have a look. It's been along our island in the distance. As you see the villas here. I like the uh, the red flowers. Very very cute. It's been long in the distance in the lobby area. Some restaurants and uh, you see north. Uh, you can just see the bay face is northwards. Uh, equal distance between Greece north and the uh, Egypt Libya border south. So about 50 kilometers. Bay, Mirabella Bay face northwards. Okay, let's go. Okay, now we're getting in the lobby, yeah? To be very discreet. Let's go and go past. Be very discreet walking through the lobby. Yeah. Got a little shop here. Let's go cut down the path. There's a buggy pit stop and so on. This is there. It's one of these autograph collection places. Autograph collection. Yeah. Nice.
Alright, let's go ahead. Alright, then I'll walk downstairs. Walk down to the uh, beach. Got some breakfast in there. I lost. And uh, that's the lobby here. Bar is straight ahead. Bar is straight ahead. The domes. Yeah, luckily, I uh, wasn't too busy just then. I wanted to show you the lobby. Uh, we've got this spa and the gym and then the pool just down here. Excellent, over here. The spa. Magic soon for this restaurant where we had breakfast. That's the gym just here. Alrighty. So you can see some of the boat traffic. Uh, that was quite easy actually. You can see some of the boat traffic uh, out on uh, the bay. Uh, the various, uh, so I'm in a five star resort here. Yeah, Domes of Alunda, it's my autograph collection. Uh, there are lots of boats, there's various fishing villages, Plaka. Local town is Nikios Agiolos. Not to be confused with the uh, former Prime Minister of uh, Egypt, Andreas Papandreos, who used to come here on his holidays. Uh, so there's various uh, tourist boats you can take to uh, spin along there, just over there, and walk down to the beach. Somebody on the treadmill to the left, so I'm not going to put the camera that way. It's a fellow marathon runner myself. That's uh, very nice. There's the resort here. The restaurant's just up there, that's right, breakfast. Hi. That's right, breakfast. You can see there's somebody in the pool there. And uh, we'll just walk down to the beach. And cut out this way. That's right, breakfast this morning. inside. Ready. That's the pool area. There was somebody uh, swimming for the pool there, I didn't see. That's the pool area. And the breakfast area. I was upstairs just there for breakfast. It's a very nice resort. Wicked swimming pool. Very nice swimming pool. Got one in my own room. Uh, so there's two five-star resorts in the bay. It's one of the traditional kikes. Nice. So there's a path under the road. Uh, pool up there. There's a path under the road to the beach. So there's two five-star Marriott Bonvoy properties next door to each other. This one is an autograph collection. It's called Domes of Alunda. Next door is uh, Blue Palace. It's a luxury collection resort. So that boat that you saw parked out there is called a kite. C-A-I-Q-U-E kike. That's how you spell boat here. And uh, so I will be going out on the water tomorrow afternoon. I'm here for two nights. One night here, one night there. Blue Palace. So I've got a boat booked there for an hour, sailing around the bay, looking at uh, Spinalonga. So Spinalonga Island, that one that you saw, um, saw quite a lot of Arab influence. Uh, saw quite a lot of Arab influence. I thought uh, walking through there, all those domes and stuff, like mosques. So uh, the Spinalonga Island, uh, it was depopulated around the ninth century. 9th century, they reckon the Arab people came here. 9th century. Um, for those of you that don't know uh, Islamic history, the Prophet, Prophet Muhammad. Prophet Muhammad was around in the 7th century. 7th century, Prophet Muhammad. Islam, good. I'm going to Dubai next week. Looking forward to it. W, uh, Marriott Bombay. Anyway, Prophet Muhammad, 7th century. 9th century, Spinalonga Island was uh, Arab people. The 
Venetians got it was Greek as well as I think yeah the, uh, the Venetians got here Smilong Island was not an island it was put on the mainland the Venetians 1526 made it into an island to defend their empire in Venice in the east and then uh, the Ottomans 1715 took over 1715 so there's a church here you know some water sports you can see the church I walk down to the beach yes yeah, so that's the history of Smilong Island what about this week? So uh, people at the beach. Let's get past. <coughs> so take this path down here. Yeah. It's a lot of history here, yeah. With the confluence of uh, Europe, Asia and Africa and the Middle East, yeah, all these religions like Israel and stuff around here. So uh, yeah yeah. That's yeah, one of the shops here. Let's yeah, path down to the beach. So we'll close the resort next week. A lot of the staff are going to do uh, olive picking for the winter. So uh, when I visited, uh, when I visited, uh, when I visited uh, Jerusalem, I saw the Mount of Olives. That's where it's olive. I think it's olive trees. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what olive tree looks like. Uh, it's the beach to the left here. There's people at the beach. We're going to uh, find a way. Just look at my face, okay? Find a way past these people. Right, 10 seconds. Just look at my face. Let's be at the beach. Hi. Can I go and take some photos down there? <laughs> yeah, thanks. Hi. Hi, get over here. So navigate your way past here. Yeah. Yeah, beach bar area. We've got a nice uh, platform, which is uh, uh, it's a public uh, beach, okay? Alrighty, made it. Brilliant. Got you past, yeah. Promise you that was not easy. The lobby was, uh, alright, we're here. So this is the beach area, got a bar up there. The bar. So it's not much of a beach, yeah. It's more like a uh, place to, uh, it's a natural coastline, yeah. So they call this the sampling point. Yeah, so you see the hills, 80% uh, of Turkey is mountainous. You see the hills all out there. There's been a long island straight ahead. That's the coastline. See the boat there, so that's, I'm going to take one of these kikes, C-A-I-Q-U-E. So I spell boat here uh, tomorrow afternoon, I'll be out on the water. A bit of sailing around uh, Mirabella Bay. It's been along the island and so on. And the waters are crystal clear. Uh, let me walk you to the other bit, it's better. See the church. Walk you. Just along here. Yeah, you'll see the church. There's these hammocks to play on. So I think fishing is big here. When we, I drove here in, from Heraklion is the uh, the airport. Heraklion, second busiest airport in Greece. Um, and when you drive through Elunda, the village, population 3,000, it's a very cozy little village, yeah, it's cute. Lots of restaurants and stuff, yeah. The guy said, the driver said there's lots of uh, like good restaurants. I think fish would be delicious here. It's a very uh, Turkish, uh, I mean a Greek uh, Orthodox church, yeah. Greek Orthodox church, I would imagine. Uh, that's what the religion is, yeah. Christianity, three, Christianity, Judaism, Islam, all right, all in this area nearby. So that's the spin along the island, yeah. Venetian fortress. 1526, they made it into an island. Uh, Ottoman Empire, 1715. This was the last place, last place that island's been along to fall to the uh, the Ottomans after the Venetians. Uh, it's a tourist uh, attraction now. It used to be a, it was a leper colony. 
in the uh, first part of the 20th century as well. All right, view this way. Very nice. Hammocks and chairs to sit out and chill. You can see why the uh, Saudi royal family come here every year on holiday, yeah? Superb uh, hillside uh, coastline. Crete is the only one of the Egyptian islands. Crete is the only one of the islands that's economically viable without tourism. But still, yeah, it's nice. All right, thanks for watching the tour. Got another day and a half uh, on the uh, on this bay, Blue Palace later, but uh, today it's uh, Domes of Alunda, a very good resort here. Alright, thanks for watching Toya. Yeah? Domes of Alunda, Crete, Mirabella Bay, very nice enjoyed. Should be a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It's been a longer, but already isn't. There's the waters. Watch here, the waters. Just the clear waters. Sports fans, feelings. Alright, ciao.